We've been joined by lawyer Emmanuel Safar Abdullahi, who is a chairman for the special investigation committee um, set up by President Julius Madabio to um, probe into the August um, incidents of 2022. Um, good morning and welcome to Fashulio Abdullahi. Good morning and thank you for having me. Um, let's first um, get to talk about mm -hmm. some of the findings that... Um, that are in the report. But just before we get into the specifics, take us through the process of putting the report together. <coughs> I know when the committee was set up, you have many people who criticize um, some of you guys in that committee, thinking that, oh, you, you have biased views already and all of that. So take us through the process of conducting this investigation. Well, well thank you. I mean, firstly, the issue of um, opinions of biasness does not really reflect the reality on, mm. on the ground. So everybody, I mean, people have their, their opinions. When you ask me questions, someone is sitting home thinking, oh, you know, like Safa Abdullah, that's why he's asking such a difficult question. Right. So issues of bias, uh, um, allegations is not something that I get worried about. Mm -hmm. but, but yes, like, like you said, when the president put together the committee, we, we came together and decided that it was a national duty. It was a national call. Mm -hmm. And it was something that we were going to do to the best of our ability to ensure that you know biases and prejudices were were kept aside and uh, we do the job very professionally so we also recognize the fact that no matter what we did mm. now we're going to be criticized right Con considering the polarization and politicization of every issue in Sierra mm. Leone so uh, we we also co took cognizance of that from the onset so basically what we decided to do was to firstly look at the existing literature, right. and, and, I, and I mean every document that basically speaks to the Sierra Leone situation, mm. the Sierra Leone economy, the Sierra Leone political situation, the reports that have been written by international organizations, NGOs, and even government, including mm. some very sensitive um, intelligence report. So we, we reviewed that and, and then got the context of, of the situation, including refining some of the the objectives that were set for us right. and, and also the methodology so we decided it was time to firstly review the literatures and then secondly get into the field and mm. get um, <coughs> empirical data so we went to places where the incident occurred so mm. this includes uh, Potloko, Lunge, Amakwe, Makeni, Western Urban, Western Rural Areas you know, loan sir, just ensuring that we get a first hand mm. information. And when we went to these places, <coughs> we spoke to various stakeholders. Mm. We had a youth segment meeting, women, paramount chiefs, the police officers, community members, and then the intelligence officers, you know, they have what they call ProSec, which is the provincial security mm. sector committee, and they dissect the district um, um, security, security sector system. committee. Mm. After doing all of these in areas where the incident occurred, we decided that, okay, a lot of issues have come up. Mm. But why is it that the demonstration only occurred in one part of the country? Mm. We decided it was time to visit places where the incident did not occur. So we went to Kono, Kenema, and Bo to represent, you know, the, the, the other regions where incident did not occur. And we tried to triangulate the information. So, for example, if you... If people said um, there was an economic bite, mm. there is a, an economic bite in the north, is it that there is no economic bite in the south? Now, if the situation is the same, why mm. was it that people did not demonstrate? So that gave us a, a very good feel of, of what it was. Then we also had, um, from reviewing the literature and from mm. uh, um, analyzing open source, which includes social media information and Twitter and things, we had put together a list of over 40 people who we regarded as persons of interest. Mm. We sent letters to all of them. Um, as you would see, a lot of them, some of them posted their letters on social media, and uh, some of them turned up. We interviewed them, we put the allegations we had to them, and mm. they denied. Some of them clarified issues. Some of them did not show up, and for us it was okay if you don't show up or if you showed up and did not cooperate and we had no opportunity to confront you with the evidence that we have. Mm -hmm. We would put the allegation that we have against you and say you did not cooperate. 
because that's that's the best we could have done. Before so, we skip that quickly, how were they? Uh, how were the, was the communication sent to these individuals? Letters. letters. First, initially, first letters were sent on January fifth, mm. and then the second set of letters were sent on January seventeenth, mm. and then followed up calls and text messages. You know, I'm sure if you miss the letters, you will see your text messages particularly if your number is known, mm. and you will see your WhatsApp <laughs> messages. So the excuse of, I did not receive a letter does not really stand. Just, mm. just two days ago, I had to snapshot all of those letters and everyone who signed for everybody. Mm. So we don't have that excuse of. of. So basically, we, we went through this process, gathered the information, mm -hmm. and then we had a series of meetings. Now, apart from that, we also spoke to every political party. So we invited every political party in Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. because the, 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 con the insurrection actually was a political issue. Um, we also decided, since there was a lot of debate whether it was a protest or a riot or insurrection, so we put the definitions of protest, mm -hmm. riot, and insurrection on the board. A protest is when you put out a statement mm -hmm. against something. A riot is a protest that goes a little bit violent an insurrection is a protest that goes violent and that targets the authority of the government. Mm. So in all of those definitions, we concluded that because state institutions were attacked, because police stations were burned, because the sole slogan of the, pro the insurrection was murder bill must go, mm. it was an attempt to undermine the authority and overthrow the government. So that's our conclusion on it. So we now had to look at every issue based on themes. Mm -hmm. So we started looking at the security sector. We looked at the um, economy, youth employment. We look at the political space. Let, let, let's, so, let, let, let's first um, focus on um, the general outcome. Mm -hmm. um, you just mentioned that it's, you, you were able to conclude an insurrection during mm -hmm. the investigation. Mm -hmm. And um, according to the report, um, though at the national level, I mean, uh, you, you, you cannot identify any APC uh, or the party being um, part of it, mm -hmm. but at um, the, sub the place, level. at the subnational level, mm -hmm. even the ringleaders were identified as APC members. Mm -hmm. And if you go back to even before the formation of the committee, I mean, the politicians in, in, in government, when they were making their statements, these were the allegations that, oh, it was an insurrection um, by opposition members who facilitated all of these things, who planned, executed, financed, all of these things. And for many that we've spoken to, these are the same words in the report. So um, how did you arrive at those same things that the government... Let's get clarification on this. So um, earlier on, you said the slogans, the BO must go, uh, also led to the interpretation of the whole incident to be an attempted overthrow. How, how does that justify the, the claim now that it's an attempted overthrow? This is election period. No, no, no. I, People I didn't, have I, I different didn't, slogans. The, the way you put it, that's not how I put it. Uh, let so me. please clarify so, so exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So there were several indicators. It's not one slogan that mm -hmm. led to it. Several indicators. If you have a violent protest that is complaining with placards about people being hungry and joblessness, mm -hmm. then that is something different. If you have a, a violent demonstration that came out to say, we want the president to go, president must go, that is a different indicator. Now that indication is one. But then, for example, if you're hungry, and you think the economy is bad, which we all know is true, mm. the inflation has, has, has worsened, you don't go and destroy your own bosses where your children go to school, used to go to school. You don't attack police officers and kill them. You don't destroy and burn down police stations across mm. the country. You don't attempt to go into the airport to dig the runway so flights do not mm. come. But that was not just the reason from the CCTV cameras and from the videos. It was, Lord, dig the, the wall, so the president will come back. Mm -hmm. We will get a new president. That's what it came. So all of this accumulated. So it's not just the slogan. Mm -hmm. Let us be clear about that. It is not just the slogan. <laughs> there were clear, calculated attempt to undermine state authority. Mm -hmm. 
and clarify that again. Uh, you say CCTV footage um, showing Belonga International Airport. It's so in the, the report. president would not land, and yes. there would be a new president. That was clear. It's in the report. If you read the report, you'll see we made that very clear. The Lunge International <laughs> Airport had a CCTV camera around that. Mm. Now they gave us the, the what is it called the Westminster. They provided us CCTV camera, and then there are also videos and audios that were taken mm. of the demonstration. Say for the fact that the military, I mean the Air Force wing at the airport intervened. Mm. Those on the street on that day had overpowered the police to get into the airport. Mm. And all the slogans, all the plans, all the alterances were about destroying the airport. And I have said this the last two days. Imagine for once that those security officers did not stop those protesters and that airport was torched. It would have taken us the next five years before any serious flight would have come to Sierra Leone. So these are not, these are not petty issues in my, in my estimation. Mm -hmm. When I sit and I see the bigger picture, and I found, and we as a committee found mm -hmm. these things, we have to report them. Mm -hmm. uh, let's um, go back to um, Monday. We had Femi Claudia School here, and she said some of their tweets were taken out of context uh, um, by the committee and taking a context of a message can give it a different meaning. So, sorry, Phoebe. I don't want to go into syntax no. and, and, and so, context so, so, and what Sorry, Phoebe. And, uh, and my, my phone is buzzing. I see um, the Deputy Minister of Eternal Affairs and the National Secretary General of the APC trying to reach out and trying to make some comments. Please yeah. permit us to just um, hear their side. Uh, um, yeah. I have the, the, the National Secretary General of the All People's Congress Party, Lawyer Lance and Adumbuya. Lawyer Adumbuya, good morning and welcome to Wake Up Selyon. Uh, good morning, Mr. White. Mm. I, 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 the, the, I, I'm sure you must have gone through the um, report by the special committee set up by President Bill to look into the August um, incident of 2022, and um, you, are, you, you have those concerns. But now, um, the report is saying at the national level, they cannot identify the APC to have been involved in any of the incidents. But at the subnational level, I mean, things were, were facilitated by your members, um, people who were we are clearly identified as APC supporters that are councillors, former members of parliament and all of that. What does the party make of this, if at all, you, I mean, your people were involved in this as um, put out by the committee? Um, to me, Mr. Wise, that, that particular statement made by, by members of the committee is completely nonsensical. And um, um, they know it's not true, and that is why the... the, the, the the APC wants members of those uh, of the committee um, to come out clearly, if at all their report has been tampered with, to come out clearly and let the public know exactly where it has been tampered with, if they are the ones who really made those statements. I, I really, if they are the ones who made that statement, because some of them, I, as I said, you remember, you interviewed me, and I told you, that um, some of the members of the committee are people who, who are highly respected. And if that is so, and they have made that statement, which they believe is not true, they have to, to, to be accountable to the people of this country, because they, they, that is not true. I am telling you, Mr. White, the APC is not involved in any way whatsoever. The, uh, 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 the chairman of the committee is here, lawyer man, that's a fabulous with us in the studio. And he has just... Um, uh, reiterated the, the findings and how they went, the processes they went through to have arrived at um, those conclusions. They visited the areas where the incidents occurred. They also visited areas where the inc where incidents did not occur, just to ascertain whether um, the incidents were were, were fueled by the socio-economic um, activities or standings of the nation. But it's clear from the report that it, this, these incidents occurred in your strongholds. And um, they also mention that the mayor, for example, who is a member of um, the mayor of Freetown Municipality, who is a member of the, your party, participated and facilitated the, the, the organization of a national prayer and fasting called by Adebayo. No, that is not true. That is not true. Did they, did they interview the mayor? I mean, you go, I mean, as, um, you are telling me Safa is there. Uh, it is sad for people to make certain statements because they want to get the APC involved. I do not, uh, 
what are the details of the report? It's not to make the statement. Who is the person who whom the committee identified to say this is the APC? If you say it is the stronghold, is it because of the stronghold inside the stronghold of the APC you have other political parties who have membership in that stronghold? Were you able to see uh, identify that person having a membership card of the APC? Sometimes you have to be very careful. The fact that it happens um, 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 within Kutoho or it happens at 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 at, at, at of course, or it happens at um, whatever you may name in, in, in your report, does not necessarily mean that they are members of the APC. I, I, so are, you the, are you disowning the report and um, questioning its credibility enti um, entirely? I am, I am, because if you say it happened within the stronghold of the APC, so therefore it is facilitated by, by APC, but it's completely um, 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 summarized without you going through it, without you um, deciphering the report, just that statement um, tells you that it is biased. You cannot say that. Say this. You, you, you can only say it happens in this area. And those people in that area, I mean, must be, be, be accountable for it. You cannot say because that is the stronghold of the APC. Do you have, you have to make, you have, if something happened in Kenema now, you know, do you have to say because it happened in Kenema or in, in Bo or Kalang, therefore it, it's been facilitated by members of the SLPP? I mean, they will not allow it. So, so, so I cannot, I cannot subscribe to that. At, at this point, just quickly, we, um, we have to let you go. What's the position of the APC? We are going to come up with a position. We are uh, from yesterday. We are looking at it as a party. We are coming with a party position on it. And um, and for now, we, we we just want the public to know that the 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 the, the, the APC, as far as um, it has been mentioned in whatever form in that report, you know, um, completely denounce and reject whatever assertion is being made against the party. And those who are uh, um, 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 who are involved in the, in, the, in, the, in the exercise knows that that statement cannot lead to that conclusion. Even somebody who is um, 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 a first grader in logic cannot tell you, cannot, cannot uh, um, conclude the way the committee concludes. Say because it is stronghold of the AP, so therefore it is, it is. No, 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 no. That is completely nonsense. Um, uh, Lansana, just before we let you go quickly, um, have you read the report? We have I've read the report. Um, we are deciphering each and every member who is involved. We, 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 we started, and like I said to you, we're coming with a party position. Um, um, in, uh, maybe in the next few hours, we'll come up with a party position on that. Uh, uh, also, um, Safa, just a quick confirmation. Not Are you... Talking, I mean, First day, I feel Just a minute. I, no, I feel I, I'm being ambushed it, with this one. Is, I mean, it, is it an individual thing the report deals with, or APC as a political party? Well, you've heard what... Uh, Lanson, uh, uh, hold on. Uh, I'm just confirming um, quickly. Oh, from, okay. Sorry, from sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes. The individual, no. It's not the political party. It's a political party. It's the political party. We, the report looks at persons of interest. And say Safa, do you want to confirm that quickly? I don't get the question, so I'm trying to so decide. So he what, is saying it's saying. an attack on APC. I'm asking you: Is the report dealing with APC as a party or individuals? The report treated individuals and entities. So both APC, SLPP, NGC, um, Unity Party, um, anybody who is a political player was dealt with. If he feels like it's an attack on the APC, it's okay individuals were listed but i also feel it should be fair to give everybody the opportunity to react like lansana has done yeah we because have femi claudia's call here on monday not, because it's not it, we've been, we've also been. dealt with the slp right well, we we questioned we'll to, continue let me, on that quickly let me, let me just, sorry safa sorry safa i was deliberating in, in in getting that the, now uh, um lansana yeah. Would you, with all confidence, speak to the public and confirm that the APC, as a party, controls the entirety of its membership? Um, we, we, we can tell you that um, we have a level of, of, of um, strata of um, authority in the APC. We have our executive and we have um, our membership in the party. And uh, to some extent, let me say this to you. If the APC is involved, or we want, if we want any protest in this country, you're saying you know, if, mm, yes, if if the APC wants, if so, we, as a party, we, have we, you fully we, done your own investigation to confirm the level of involvement of some of your members we, we, in the we, incident? 
we are not involved in any way whatsoever. So it means not you've not done members. an investigation. Not, not even our members. Not even our members. Because let me let me let me say this to you uh, um, um, before I became the national secretary. Lance and I, without conducting an investigation, how are you no, so let certain? Me, let me let me let me let me let me let me conclude. Let me conclude. Before even I became the national secretary general of the People's Congress Political Party, I have I have one I have been one of the people calling for for an investigation even the day i called for the investigation was the day that particular i think a day or two after that's when the committee was was established you could, uh, mr white knows exactly what i'm talking about i was in the mm -hmm. i was there in the studio you know talking about that so um i i followed it i followed it i went to court which um, um, um which uh, to, to 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 um i represented some of the members you know, in those who are who are who are arrested, and let me say this: the committee has to be very careful. Those whom I represented, they were just arrested nearly. Really. Some of them were not even close. Lansana, I'm them. not trying to be rude to interrupt and cut you, but it's um, past nine o'clock, and it's time we go for a news summary. Uh, we would follow up with you. Uh, once the APC comes out with a position statement on the report. But thank you very much for your time this morning to talk to us. Yes, I, I hope they just made, they made a statement about that particular issue. Those who are not never involved and were just uh, um, arrested. All right, thank you very much, um, Lance and Adumbuya. We still have with us Emmanuel Safa Abdullah in the studio. Now we've been able to establish um, contact with um, the Deputy Minister of Internal Affairs who doubles as the National Publicity Secretary of the Ruling Sierra Leone People's Party, Lahai Lawrence Lima. Um, good morning and welcome to Wake Up Sierra Leone Lima. Good morning, Samuel, and good morning, listeners. Now, um, Lima, first off, um, I, I'm sure you must have gone through um, the report by the committee set up by President Biu. And in that um, report, the committee clearly stated that um, you did not show up despite several attempts to um, have you respond to allegations of um, some of your activities during the curfew our and allegations of um, you involved in extrajudicial killings and um, but you did not appear first off let's have an, an understanding why um, were you not why did you not appear um, in front of the committee to answer to some of the questions if at all you were invited uh, thank you very much Samuel for having me into the conversation and in the first place um, let me start by thanking his Excellency the President for putting such a reputable committee together um, to do an investigation into the incident that occurred on August 10. Um, not appearing on the committee is not a fault of mine, but it's as a result of the fact that I was not notified that I should be on that committee. And um, I got a call on the day that they required me to be on the committee. Um, in fact, the call came in and it was very abrupt a manner of communication to me, even by the caller, who happens to be um, retired Colonel Goto, was very unprofessional, but yet I was able to manage the conversation and talk to him that I have not been notified of me being, uh, of uh, you requiring me and my presence into that committee. However, as at this material time that you have called, I am engaged in a meeting with guests in my office. Um, still, I am available if you could reschedule um, a better time for me, either after this meeting or some other time. So he said to me that I will, he, I will hear back from him. After that, he dropped the call, and I never got back to him. I got a call from uh, Mr. Vyama, who is the ONS coordinator, asking me that he has been informed that I have refused to um, show up for the committee, um, the Special Investigation Committee. <coughs> I told him that is not true. He has been misinformed that I am always available. I got a call from retired Colonel Goto, who was like urging me that now you will wait for. I asked him, what are you waiting for me for? He said, are you not aware of the Special Investigation Committee uh, work that is ongoing? I said, I'm aware, but I'm not aware that you required me at this material time. So no Colonel Goto, no Abayama ever rescheduled time for me to show up to give my own account of what happened on August 10th. And for such um, innuendos or allegations being drawn around the very fact that I did not appear <coughs> um, at the committee for, a, um, um, for a, a reason which is not my own fault, um, to also draw an innuendo of that nature of drawing extrajudicial killing is unfortunate. Because these are all calculations of ploy 
in order to make me look bad in the eyes of the public and also make me look bad in the eyes of the president. But those who calculated that action, they, it is a failed cause because there is no loyalty you can show to a leader <clears throat> than what I did on August 10. When I came personally under attack, my vehicle was attacked, there were roadblocks before me start spanning from um, um, Wellington up to up gun. I came under tremendous road attacks with stones pelted at my vehicle. The windscreen of my vehicle was badly damaged. My security died in the process. Ja, 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 and I came to State House. I went to see... Lima, just, just, before you just before you continue with these things, um, the, the, the chairman of the committee is with us in the studio, and he mentioned... Letters were sent out to all entities, including persons of interest. Did you not receive those letters in January of this year? It's unfortunate that he's a lawyer. He failed to do due diligence, and yet he could publish a report without getting back from somebody probably he thinks is germane to the cause of the investigation and publishing such report. That's unfortunate. He's a lawyer. He knows exactly what service means. And when you require the presence of somebody to give his own testimony or an account, he knows the effort to apply. I never received a letter, nor did I get even a text message, save from the fact that I received a call on the material day that they required me, and of which I was engaged in some other official duty, and I asked them to also reschedule. And after that date, no effort was made to get me give my own account. And this is why I'm saying that not getting me on the, the whole thing here is about the principle of natural justice. So get me give my own side of the story. Ka -ka and if you have not been able to get me give my own side of the story, does that warrant you to build in windows around my family name, around my image, to undermine my own very good work that salvaged the situation on that day? Is that, is, that, is, that, is that the reward I get for working so hard to preserve the peace and security of this nation? Is that the, is that the reward I get? But I am not surprised. This is not coming as a surprise to me. Because they had tried it. To mess up my name in a in, in a corruption saga, they tried it with Ben Kepala. He tried it with me. He did not work. Before this time, I have got the I have gotten the intelligence that these people have been planning something to mess up my name in a scandalous behavior. Lima, of Lima, Lima, Lima. And this is exactly what uh, uh, um, has been exhibited. Lima. As, I'm, as I am saying, I am still very humble and I am very committed. To still give my own side of the story. And, 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 really and, and, and quickly, quickly, Lima, in, in two minutes, that is what, um, if you're claiming that you've not been given an opportunity to um, hear your own side of the story. Now, um, people accused you that um, during the coffee hours and um, you engaged in some dubious activities leading to extrajudicial killings. What are your thoughts? I am a professional retired military officer. Because this is the thought, that in as much as people go into the military, people think that the military is a dumping ground for dropouts. I'm never a dropout. I am a graduate with a legal knowledge, and in my service, I did a seven years plus in the army. I spent five years of my service in the legal office. I clearly understand what rules of engagement is. I understand my do's, my, my do's and don'ts. So I am, even though I am outside the army, I am a professional military officer, I have a family name to protect. I am a good citizen. I have never, ever been involved into taking anybody's life innocently. That is a mis that is a ploy, it's a calculation that is aimed at tarnishing my name and also undermine the good working relationship between me and the president. But it's a fail cause and I am still committed to give my own side of the story. And I do believe that on that day, I worked assiduously and I did very well to salvage the situation. The only, cal the only impression that will leave me with that the August 10th probably was an orchestration to take away my life. And because God saved me from that situation, that is why they are still pushing to, to run things around my name that does not befit my person, my personality, and my individual self. Thank and I you. remain to be loyal to the state and to the president because, yes, he is the one God has ordained to take leadership of this nation. I am a Christian. I understand exactly the response of David at the time when God sold in tour to him. I understand in, in David's response. I am a Christian, a Catholic to be precise. Thank I you. have never ever involved in taking any innocent life and I do not wish to ever take any innocent life. My work is geared towards preserving Thank the you. peace and stability of this nation 
and for the good thank you thank you thank you very much um lahai lawrence lima deputy minister of um internal affairs who doubles as the national publicity secretary of the ruling sierra leone people's party um Safa, just before we get responses from you, let's quickly um, welcome the Minister of Information and Communications, Muhammad Rahman. Sorry, good morning and welcome to official. Sure. Yes, good morning. Good to be here. All right. So, Safa, let's, let, let's hear your responses so, for, for, I, yeah, from the APC Secretary quite, General quite to Lima. Allegations. Firstly, um, let, maybe I start with Lemon. It's, it's okay for you to be angry, but it's also okay to be honest. The only reason why I have asked the committee not to release the way book, mm -hmm. it's because of professionalism. As I sit here, Lai Lawrence Lehman's letter was sent on the 6th of, I have a way book here that I have snapshotted. Mm. Basically, that I, basically, his letter was sent and was signed for by Tambasa. Mm. Now, no response. On, on the 6th the, of April? On the um, uh, January? 6th of January. Right. Now, the, on the 6th of January letter, we had scheduled his meeting for the 18th of January. Mm. At two p at two at three p.m. Mm. His letter is also here. Mm -hmm. Now, when we did not hear from him, we sent a second letter again on the tenth. Sorry, he did not show up on the eighteenth. Right. We were there, mm -hmm. and he did not show up. And we said, okay, maybe he did not receive the letter. Mm -hmm. We sent a second letter, which was received on the tenth of February, again by the same. Tambasam and signed for. Mm. Now this is a way book where everyone were you able to establish who Tambasam is in the office? No, that's not a, that's not your business. Mm. No, no, no. Come on, you take the letter to the deputy minister's office. You are not taking it to a home without an address. You are not taking it to someone on the street. You are taking the letter to the deputy minister's office, mm. and in that office, someone received the letter and signed the way book. You are going to begin to establish who that person is. Mm. No, that's not your responsibility. Now, he did not show up for the second time. This is two letters we're mm -hmm. talking about. I have copies of those letters. Then we said, okay. For, for those who don't know, Lehman calls me big brother. Mm -hmm. So I was already conflicted with him. I did not get involved in it. So I, other people had to deal with him. We said, okay, Colonel Gotto, can you, you are a military officer. Mm -hmm. Can you reach out to him? Now, Lehman is not the only person. We sent letters to 38 people. Everyone received their letters. Everyone either showed up or said, I am not coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the mayor got hers and she published it. She came with a media crew and said, I know the answer question. Mm -hmm. So what we did with this, we did, not, did, we did not find anything adverse against Lemon. So again, the issue of attacking personality, me being a lawyer actually makes me a better person to handle situations like this. That's why I have a way book. Because I am a professional lawyer. Right? Me being a lawyer also gives me the, 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 the knowledge and mm -hmm. expertise to ensure that I did not do anything that was adverse against you. Mm -hmm. What we did was, Lemon's allegations are this, he did not show up. Simple. Mayor's allegations are this, she showed up and she said, I'm not answering the questions. Femi Claudia School's allegations are this, she showed up and she did not answer any of the questions, rather she was being insulting to all of us on the panel. Simple. That's our role. Mm. We did not say your family name has been dragged into gutters. Let's take, for instance, one point. You were called to a meeting that this committee was going to meet with you. You spoke to two people. Mm -hmm. These are not Safa Abdullahi, the ordinary right. lawyer on the street. Retired Brigade Colonel Gutter. Mm -hmm. Avayama is head of entire intelligence network. Mm -hmm. Did you follow up? Let's, let's be honest. These people came to you and said, but why you not come? We don't send letters to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have said in the forum where he is, I said, I don't want to put you on the limelight. This is not about you. You did not show up. Defend yourself on the street to the public. Mm -hmm. We've done our job. Simple. Your allegations are there. You, like any other person whose name came up in this committee, will mm -hmm. report on you. Right. That's the point. Let's come to the APC. And again, Lemma is not my problem. I have nothing against him. We're very close friends. I mean, we mm -hmm. chat, mm -hmm. we talk. We, he calls me elder brother. But I had a professional job to do, not just me. This is a committee of people who are older than me. Like, <laughs> you have professionals who sit mm -hmm. here. You are not going to tell them, oh, no, put Lemma in name because he did not show up. You are the only person who will send two letters to. Only person. Every other person who will send one letter show up. 
you did not, by some mysterious means, you did not receive letters, letters that were signed for in your office at the Ministry of Internal Affairs. I leave that to you. I leave that to the public. Uh, I mean, my, my colleague, <laughs> Lance, and it's interesting. He says what we wrote is nonsensical. Mm -hmm. But you were not in the field. You did not find what we found. You did not know what we saw. We spoke to your party as a person. Mm -hmm. One of your party senior members accepted that there were rogue members in the party. But you say what we said is nonsensical. And this is what I say. Mm. I respect Lansana a lot. He's my senior in the profession. We have a good relationship. But sometimes it's just good to take a step back and say, wait a minute. Mm. Now, there are transcripts of people we spoke to. There are transcripts of people, mm -hmm. we, people who were actually involved, who were saying, okay, I am a, a counselor of the APC. Right. I'm a former M MP of the APC. For example, in Lonsa, the only tension you have in Lonsa, the entire of Lonsa, is a former, former MP of, mm. of, of the APC who is creating problems between the mining companies and the chief. Who He, ac he accuses the chief mm -hmm. of being an SLPP member, right? We documented these things. You were not there. You haven't seen those transcripts. But yet you call our statement nonsensical, baseless. Now it speaks to the issue that no one wants to own up to anything. Mm. And if you cannot own up to anything, it is also okay to just take a step back and say, okay, let me, let me observe this situation. You were not there. People who spoke to us, mm -hmm. we recorded them, we transcribed them, and there's evidence. You have not even said, okay, mm. before I even jump to conclusion, can we review the transcript or the mm. evidence, mm -hmm. right? You were saying one thing. Abdul Kabo said something different. The leader of the, of the, of the opposition said something different. Now, that again, in mm. law, you are my senior. I mean, I don't know law, maybe because I'm a junior. But that again, in law, speaks to the veracity of what all the three parties are saying. Mm. But again, we are the ones who wrote nonsensical statements. How, how do we get a national ownership of this document? So no, no, as a way of you don't have to deal, have a national ownership. So, so uh, no, then no. how do we deal with the recommendations? So we were able to avoid the recurrence of... The, already we've seen on social media calls have been made you for, see, August to, uh, for April 27th. You Papa. see, this is the sad thing, mm. and we missed that opportunity. When, when, they appointed, when the president appointed this committee, we said this is a mini TRC. Mm. We missed that opportunity when we did the TRC. As soon as the TRC report came out, blaming people, and we all knew what happened, mm. basically people disowned it. All what we found in this report is in the TRC report. If we had owned up to it, if we had been nationalistic and patriotic enough mm. to say, okay, we went wrong, all of us, whether you are SLPP, APC, whether you are Timini, you are Limba, we owned up to it, we could have been, we could have addressed those issues. Now it's on party lines. Now it's grandstanding. It's about saying we are fighting it. Mm. You have nothing to fight. Like I said in front of the president, there are economic issues that are biting young right. people. There are youth unemployment. We have to address these issues. But there is an issue of where the opposition feels that they should not be opposition. They cannot constructively engage. There is an issue where the government is being accused of not reaching out to the opposition. These are issues that are national. Mm -hmm. There are many things that came out in that report that we all should own up to rather than taking partisan stance on it, right? Mm -hmm. We have no basis. I mean, I, I mean, there is no interest for us as a committee, for me as a person, to record something that I did not find in the field. Now, these data were collected from individuals, from people we interviewed, names of people. And, and Samuel, it will interest you to know that because we are in this digital world, when you ask a counselor the whole meeting, someone is recording it. I mean, a counselor, so and so, so and so party, we want to do this, we get for overthrow the government, or the government will do it. You make those statements, we have those recordings. So, for my colleague, my senior colleague, to say, it's nonsensical without seeing it, without being in the field, without having any idea of what really transpired. It's, it's a bit of a shocker. But again, we all have respect for each other. Mm. But this is a national issue. Let us just step one, let us take one step backwards and say, let's do this. Let's talk about Femi Claudia's call. Quickly, please, yeah. Which you mentioned. Femi was invited. Once we invited her, she went on social media, she had a video call and lambasted us. She came with a lawyer. Every question we ask her, he said, when I go ask the psychiatrist, not to me. When I go ask, so every question, she gave nobody any opportunity to confront her with anything. Mm. We had those tweets. Whether they were manufactured or they were concocted, we had them. We wanted to 
present it. Just like we would have done to Lemon, just, just like we would have, we would have done to Aki Sawyer, mm -hmm. just like we did to the SLPP Secretary General, we did to the Minister of Trade, we did to the, to the head of NATCOM, mm -hmm. NATCANAL. We spoke to everyone confront them with what we have, we get your own side. Just like we did to Hadi Macaulay. Mm -hmm. He was there for three hours. We drill him, grill him, he answered questions, we debated on the issues, and we came to a conclusion. Right. So no one was cherry-picked to say, you are the ones we hate, or you are high lemon, we hate you, we want the president to hate you. No. There was a list of people. We reached out to them, and we confronted them, and we came to a conclusion. And in going forward, uh, Safa, what's the next step for the committee? We are dissolved. We stand dissolved. A mandate has been completed, report given to the president, and the only thing I am doing now is making sure people understand. And that is why I want to go to radio stations and explain, because it's a report. One of the shortcomings of the TRC was that it was not disseminated enough. We're trying to do that as much as possible, so people understand. Let us disseminate so the content and then let's have debate on it. Your work as a committee is done. It's left to the president now to take report action. Report has been submitted to the president. Um, we, with regards to you know, report. In the process, we've had complaints. We have people who have raised concerns. Not, not really much, apart from Femi, whose letter I received yesterday. We have one more person who has come and said, you know, my name was given to you by my detractors. I was not there. I did not. And we're looking into that. Apart from that, we're done. Thank you very much, Emmanuel Safa Abdullahi, for taking your time to be part of Wake Up Sierra Leone this morning.